We have been asked multiple times for advice on interview preparation here and on Reddit as well. This video is attempting to summarize the advice and practices we consider helpful. It's inspired by our experience with the application process, both from the side of the applicant and the interviewer, and from our research in this field. If you have any other suggestions or corrections, please leave them in the comments below. We would love to hear about your experiences and any advice you might have for prospective quants. This video is sponsored by QuantGuide, the leading quant interview preparation platform. Stay tuned to learn how to get access to a premium trial. When people say quant, most likely they refer to quantitative researchers, but the role is ever evolving and implies different responsibilities for each company. Other roles included in the same terminology and for which this video might be handy are quantitative developer or engineer, risk analyst or manager, algorithmic trader, and portfolio manager. So, quants are professionals that use their mathematical, statistical, and programming skills and financial expertise to unravel complex market patterns, mitigate risks, and generate profitable trading strategies. Some of the responsibilities of a quant might include with vast amounts of financial data, ranging from historical price data to economic indicators, they analyze and interpret it to identify patterns, trends, and correlations. This can inform investment decisions or risk management strategies. The core responsibility is creating sophisticated mathematical models and algorithms that capture the complexities of financial markets. Another critical responsibility involves evaluating and mitigating risks including market, credit, operational risks, and other financial exposures. Quants are crucial in ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements while effectively managing these risks. Besides creating mathematical models, quants also work in deploying models towards investment strategies and managing portfolios effectively. The recruiting process typically involves an initial screening to assess basic qualifications and a series of technical interviews. Additionally, behavioral interviews may be conducted to evaluate soft skills and culture fit. Some candidates may encounter case studies or modeling exercises to showcase their practical skills. Before heading into any interview, it is useful to research the company you are applying to. While overlooked, this step will demonstrate your genuine interest in the role and help relate your experience to the position the company is trying to fill. How do you approach this step? Take the time to familiarize yourself with the core investment products, services, and overall industry positioning of the company you are applying to. Research the quantitative strategies and technologies the company employs. Look for information on the specific quantitative models, algorithms, or trading systems they utilize. If you have the chance to ask questions during your interview, make sure to also touch on these aspects and show both your interest and relevant experience relating to specifics of the company. Stay up to date with news and recent developments related to the company. Look for press releases, financial reports, and market insights that can provide you with valuable information about their performance, strategic initiatives, and challenges they may be facing. Make sure to also check its corresponding Glassdoor page. Research the backgrounds and profiles of key individuals within the company, especially those CC'd in your interview invitation. Understanding their expertise and contributions can provide valuable talking points during the interview. Additionally, this will give you insights into the company's talent pool and the type of professionals they seek to hire. Now, it's time to focus on the role. Study the job description and role expectations. Identify the primary quantitative techniques, programming languages, and tools mentioned. Research and familiarize yourself with this aspect to ensure you are well prepared to showcase your expertise during the interview. Evaluate your experience and knowledge to identify how they align with the requirements of this particular quant role. Reflect on your past projects, coursework, or research that involves quantitative analysis, modeling, or programming. Consider how your expertise in specific areas, such as financial markets, statistical analysis, or algorithmic trading, relates to the job description. At this point, you can calibrate your CV to leverage your experience and match the requirements. Please consider, however, that hedge funds may perform in-depth background checks. Also, the resume is usually scanned by a less technical person, so you have to sell yourself appropriately. If possible, 
bypassing this step by going through a headhunter or referrals can help. Now we can move on to technical skills. First, we outlay the skills that most jobs will expect from you and for which they will interview you. While some of them are utilized in the day-to-day activities of a quant, the interview will be more like this. No interview process will be able to test that you possess all this knowledge and a lot can be learned on the job. So focus on understanding the logic behind the concepts, when and where to apply them, and ensure that your confidence in this knowledge is seen during the interviews. A solid understanding of mathematical concepts is fundamental for quant. You should review your baseline grasp of calculus, linear algebra, probability theory, and statistics. Differential calculus helps quantify the rates of change and is utilized in areas such as option pricing, risk management, and portfolio optimization. Linear algebra is used in portfolio analysis, factor modeling, and optimization techniques. It is also employed in solving problems related to regression, covariance matrices, and calculating portfolio weights. Probability theory is the cornerstone of quantitative finance. It enables quants to model and analyze uncertain financial events. Review your knowledge of probability distributions, expected values, and conditional probability, which are used to assess and quantify risks. Statistics provides the tools for collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data in quantitative finances. Techniques like regression analysis, hypothesis testing, and time series analysis are used to identify patterns, relationships, and correlations in financial data. Proficiency in programming languages is crucial for implementing quantitative models and analyzing data. Focus on languages commonly used in the industry, such as Python and C++. Familiarize yourself with various data structures like arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, and trees. Learn to choose the appropriate data structure, optimizing storage, and retrieval operations. Additionally, delve into the realm of efficient algorithms. Understanding algorithm complexity and big O notation will enable you to assess the efficiency of your code and make informed decisions when optimizing performance. Developing expertise in quantitative models and techniques is essential for success as a quant. Familiarize yourself with time series analysis, stochastic calculus, optimization methods, and Monte Carlo simulations. Gain insights into risk modeling, volatility forecasting, factor analysis, and portfolio optimization. Additionally, you can explore option pricing models, risk neutral valuation, and statistical arbitrage strategies. Given that there is such a long list of skills that you need to polish, the list of resources that you can use is just as long. Some, but not all of them, are. You can start to review the theoretical concepts with the courses provided by Coursera, edX, Khan Academy, or the Triple One Brown and StatQuest YouTube channels. Next, you can upgrade to books and research papers focusing on financial markets. You can find the list of books that I recommend in the description box. Especially if you are new to the field or a student, it is important to stay informed about the current happenings in the market. Make an effort to keep up with the latest news from various sources, such as Bloomberg, Barron's, StockTweets, or even the Wall Street Bet subreddit. Having a basic understanding of ongoing trends, upcoming mergers, and recent market reactions to news or earnings reports, and being familiar with notable figures like Sam Altman can be beneficial and provide valuable insights. To strengthen your programming, the coding challenges offered by Project Euler, Lead Code, or HackerRank should provide ample practice opportunities. And the part everyone associates with quant interviews, brain teasers and problem solving. Before focusing on the how of preparation, let us clarify the why. From the outside, it seems counterintuitive to test people with puzzles when that is far from what they will be asked to do on the job. But just as American football players will lift weights even though they will not have to out-bench press the enemy team, quantitative researchers solve brain teasers to keep their minds sharp and eyes open to novel solutions. Also, historically, these questions had the highest accuracy in predicting the candidates that perform best on the job. You can find a selection of books that I consider practical for studying in the description box. This channel also aims to help fill the gap between the theoretical approach of the books and the industry reality by providing step-by-step solutions, intuitions on how to reach them, and code to double-check your correctness. 
You can check the selection of problems we have covered so far, and we are always open to suggestions on other topics. Another excellent option for sharpening your brain teaser skills is the sponsor of this video, QuantGuide. Being the leading platform for preparing for quantitative finance interviews, they offer a space to solve hundreds of real interview problems split by topic and difficulty. They also offer a premium subscription, which includes detailed solutions and access to hints that help you move forward with your answer, much like real-life interviews. You can get a free trial of premium features by following the link in the description or using our promo code, a typical quant. Now is the time to put everything together into a plan of action. Create a structure plan that outlines the areas you need to cover with clear goals for each stage of your preparation. Even with the right background, the time it takes to be in top shape for interviews will not be short, so allocate it accordingly. Be careful not to neglect one area in favor of another, balancing technical knowledge, programming, and soft skills. The best and only way to develop your interviewing muscle is to practice. Give each question you try your full attention for a while before picking at a solution, if needed. Be prepared to try different approaches to get to the answer and practice thinking on your feet and articulating your thoughts clearly and concisely. When possible, seek feedback from mentors, peers, or professionals in the industry. Reach out to your professors, find connections on LinkedIn, and enlist their help. Besides pointing you in the right direction with your preparation, they might help you understand the recruitment process better, polish your CV, or even open some doors for you in the industry. Practice explaining your thinking in a simplified and accessible manner. Seek opportunities to present your work or engage in public speaking to build confidence. Focus on active listening skills to ensure you clearly understand the question. Don't hesitate to ask for clarification and generally be engaged in the conversation. While this video is hardly a complete guide, you should now be armed with the knowledge of how to prepare for interviews. So good luck with your practice and research and I wish the best in your pursuit of quant jobs. Thanks for watching and thank you to our Patreons. If you want to support us in making more videos, head to our Patreon page. If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to get a notification when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time.